Oh boy, today is such a nice lovely day, and also a day to relax and watch my favorite TV shows of all time, and no one like my wife Catherine or my kids to butter or annoy me. Best day ever. And up next is every children's favorite purple dinosaur, Barney the Dinosaur. Oh boy oh boy oh boy. Oh yeah. My favorite shows to watch of all time. I love to watch Barney the Dinosaur so much. It has got to be one of the best kids children's show out there. I hope someday I will get to actually get to meet him in real life. Because that would be my dream too. And also because he makes me feel so happy and makes my days better when Catherine or the kids in or me for my childish habits. Now this is officially the best day now. And the best of all is. And that there's no Catherine or my bloody children in here to enjoy or distract me from watching it. Yeah. This is so awesome. But now, instead of wasting time here talking, let's go straight ahead by waiting until it comes on after the commercials. Hey Dave, can I have him talk to you for a minute? It's a little important I need to discuss with you. Oh, why of course, Catherine. What is it you need to tell and discuss with me, my love? Well, sorry if I am intervening with your special TV time. As I can see that you're about to watch one of your favorite shows and characters to watch of all time. But I was just wondering if you could help me with that chores around the house. Plus the garden too. Do you not mind doing it for me? Since they are getting a bit tiring for me. So could you? Oh. Why of course I can do that for you Catherine. But first. I just want to ask you something you could do for me before I start doing it. Oh. Why of course. But what is it you wanna ask me what I could do for you first one day? Well, I have been wanting and have been meaning to be asking you for a while now, but I was wondering if I could have and you make a birthday party for me. So could you? What? Oh hell no. Oh no way in actual heck in way I am giving or making you a birthday party for you. Wait, what? You didn't just say what I think you just said. Did you? Yep. You got that right, mister. You heard me loud and clear of what I just said. You're not having a birthday party. Not on my watch. And anyways. Well first of all. It's not even your birthday yet. And second of all is. The amount of stuff for it would cost us a bloody fortune to pay. So I am sorry to say this Dave. But there is no way I am or are going to throw you a birthday party. So you can just forget it. And don't force me to do or give you one, because I am just going to say no. You understand and got that? But Catherine, I really want a day. But Catherine nothing. You're not having a birthday party and that's final. And besides, don't you remember what you did on Brian's birthday with his sister and his friends Kailu and Rosie two months ago? You tried to ruin it all because you wanted it to be your birthday and instead of it being Brian's. So why should I then, huh? But that was in the past. Can't we not just forget what happened on Brian's birthday? And let me have one. So can't you? The answer is no. And I am going to stick to my word, so forget it. Why? No. This is so not fair. I can't believe you would say no to my question. All I just said is if you could throw a birthday for your one and only husband. Why you'd so mean? Well, you already know why, because I told you why you can't have one. Because it's just too much for me, and besides. It's because it is not your birthday yet. And also because we have a lot of bills to pay for as well. So I don't know why you're throwing a hissy fit over it. What? Oh, man. Why do you have to be so mean about it? It's only one question. And so what if it's not my birthday? I just want a birthday party now, because I don't want to have to wait till it is my actual birthday. Because I already told you. It's not your birthday just yet. And not mention again that it will cost us a heck ton of money. That's why. Uh, yay. My god! Dave. For crying out loud. Why can't you just accept the fact that you cannot have a birthday party when you obviously know that I can't afford it? Huh. Goodness me. I just wonder to myself why. Because I told you that I don't want to have to wait till it's my actual birthday. 
That's why. So why can't you accept the fact I want one? You fucking old evil witch you are Catherine. Dave motherfreaking Johnson. Don't you dare to fucking talk to me like that in that way of expression. I am your wife, and you treat me with respect, and not treat me like I am a goddamn animal or something. You understand and got me you childish father fucker shit you are. Okay 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 okay. Yes. I understand and heard you out loud Catherine. Okay. Good. That's what I wanna hear from you. But can I still have the birthday party? Just for me. Your one and only husband? No! I already told you like a thousand of times Dave. You're not having a birthday party, and that's final. Alright. Why? But I really wanted to invite all of my favorite characters from my favorite cartoons. Like... Barney the Dinosaur. SpongeBob SquarePants. Tom and Jerry. The Paw Patrol, along with Ryder and his team of pups. Marshall, Rubble, Chase, Rocky, Zoomer, and Sky. Inspector Gadget. Bluey. Her sister Bingo along with her parents and friends. Eleanor Wonders. And more. Well I'm so sorry to say this Dave childish husband of mine. But I am not letting you invite all of those people to our house. Since you are way too old to be having those fictional characters over here, and not to also mention. How can we have Bluey and Bingo over here to it if we were going to throw you one? Don't you remember or hear that Bluey and her sister Bingo are going to be in her user's movie, who is known as Jack McGraw, Which is called The Kidnapping of Bluey and Bingo the Movie. Who are going to be kidnapped by Billy, Jeff Hurry, Jake Lilly and Karis in his upcoming big movie he is making. Don't you? Wait, what? Oh my god. Why? Oh my bloody goodness. You can't be actually serious about that are you Catherine? Are you? Please tell me that you're just joking, and are not lying to me. Well I'm sorry to say this Dave. But it's unfortunately all true. Oh my god. No. I can't believe what my eyes and ears deceive me. That is so horrifying to hear that. I just cannot believe that them both are going to be actually kidnapped and are going to be tortured the living hell out of them both by Verily and her crew. Those poor little healer puppies. God curse Verily and her stupid crew. I wish this never had to happen. I feel so sad and worried for them right now. Why? How come I haven't been told about this already? Well I know that it's very sad that this is having to happen Dave. Because I am also feeling very sorry and sad too. But there is nothing we can do about it. So you're going to have to suck it up and let it happen then aren't you? And I thought you would've known that by now. But whatever. Why? No. I don't want to have to suck it up and let it happen. I don't want them to do that to them poor both like that. I want to stop them why? And like I said, I want my birthday to be now. I want my birthday to be now. I want my birthday to be now. I want my birthday to be now why? Ugh. God of mighty. You know what? I am just going to get out of here. Because I just can't stand this childish bullshit from you anymore. It does my bloody head and I tell you that. And forget about the party Dave. Because it's not happening. Now see you later. You childish piece of scum husband of mine. Why? No Catherine wait. All I just wanted was an early birthday party for me, that's all. Please don't leave and treat me like that. I am so sorry. Please come back. Why? Man. Why has my wife got to me so mean to me? She should know that I can't have my childish ways. All I wanted was an early birthday. That's all. Why has my life got to be so hard like this? <sighs> You know what? If and since Catherine won't let him throw a birthday for me, then why don't I just do and make myself one instead? Oh my god Dave. You're an absolute genius. Why didn't I think of this before? But first before I can do any of that, I need to go and steal my wife Catherine's credit card. And then I will go to the store and buy all of the party supplies I will need for my party. And no one is or can stop me. Mew <laughs> Okay. I now got all of the stuff I need for my early birthday party. This is just what I needed. And it's all thanks to my clever brain and my wife's card. I know that it might be a little bit much. But it will. Who cares? At least I can celebrate an early birthday by myself without Catherine's permission. I so can't wait to have so much fun. I don't know why I didn't think about all of this before.
because who needs my wife kids or anyone else? I can just have fun on my own. But anyways, enough of wasting time here talking. Let's go straight ahead by starting my birthday party by having some fun. Now time to put on my party hat to have the party and time of my life. Okay, now we can get this party really started. Are you all ready to do this? I can't hear you. Say that again. Now that's more like it. That's what I want to hear from you. Okay then. Let's get this birthday party started in. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Are you all ready to dance with me or ya? Yeah? Alrighty then. You ask for it. Here we go. Get ready to have the party of your lifetime. Let's rock. Here we go. There we go. All done. That's all of the pots washed that we will need for tonight's dinner. It's always a hard day's work for me. Especially when I have to deal with my childish husband. Which I never know when he will turn into a real man and not like a goddamn child. But I wonder how he is doing from that incident when I said he couldn't have a birthday party. But well. Maybe he might be over it right now since I told him he can't have one. Hey there mom. How are you doing this fine afternoon? Oh why hello there Brian. Nice to see you down here. I am doing very good thanks for your asking. How about you? That's good to hear. And I'm doing very good as well. That's also lovely to hear that from you sweetie. But except the fact it hasn't been all too great for me since an incident that happened with me and your father early today. Oh no. What did he do this time to upset and annoy you today? Well, to cut the story short. I came in the living room to ask your father if he could do some of the chores around the house, since they were getting a bit tiring for me. And he said only if I let him throw him at birthday party. And I said no. And what do you know, he throws one of his childish actions. And he didn't stop demanding me until I gave him one. So I just walked out of there to get away and to give my mind a rest from it. And that's why I am annoyed a little bit. Oh man. That's so terrible to hear that happened to you with him. My god. He really needs to start behaving like an adult, and not like a silly little child. At least me and Emma can act like mature children and not like little children. Ugh. I know right Brian. I completely agree with you on that. I would wish he would act his ways, and not like a child. I don't know why I even married him in the first place. But probably because I love him so much, that my heart just can't divorce him and make him go away out of your lives. Ugh. But I just don't know though. I do love him so much, but I would love him even more if he started acting like a mature fully grown adult husband and not like a child all the time. Or oh, there there mum. It's all okay. I know you want daddy to change so badly. But remember that you have me and my sister Emma on your side to help you through it when this happens with him. Yeah, you're so right son. I should at least look on the bright side to realize I have you and your sister to always be there on my side no matter what. Thanks son. You make me so much better when you just said that. Thank you. You're the best. Or why it's okay mom. I'm always happy to help. But anyways. I think that your dad might be over it right now. So I don't think there is any need to worry about it. Okay? Okay then. And yeah. You're right. He should be by now. Say mum. Do you also hear that strange music coming from somewhere? Hmm. Well, now that you mention it. Yes I do. 
But where is it coming from? I don't really know. Maybe it's just dad playing some music on the TV, or something. Ugh. Oh my goodness. My head. Just what the heck is that loud music playing and coming from? It had disturbed my sleep. Well that's the thing sweetie. Me and your brother are you also wondering where is that music coming from? Well don't you think it could be him just having some time to himself with some music to take his mind off of that incident with you and him? Well I don't know about you and why in the world he is playing it so loud for, but how dare he interrupt your sister sleep live that. That's it. I am going to confront him right now. I am not having him play such loud volumes tunes in my house. Stay here kids. Whilst I deal with your father, he is so going to bloody get it from when I am done with him I tell you. Well sis, dad is not going to have a nice time when mum gets him. I know right Brian, he surely isn't. Oh how freaking yeah, this is so much fun, I am having the time of my life right now. And there's no one to stop me from having it. This is the best day ever of my whole entire life. I'm hot dog. Hopefully nothing can ruin it. Hey freaking goddamn Johnson. Listen to me my childish husband. Stop this party and drug this at once. You're doing me and your children's heads in with this loud unnecessary music. Turn it off right now. Dave, for crying out loud. I am speaking to you. Don't just dance there and ignore me. Answer me now. Or else you're gonna get it. He can't hear me. Well no wonder. Because of all of this loud record he has playing. Well, enough is enough. I am not going to have this at all. I'm going to turn this confounded ruckus at once. Huh. Hey. What happened to the music? Who was the one who turned it off? I was having the time of my life, I swear. Whoever you are who just turned off my music and who's trying to ruin fun, you're gonna pay for all this. Because I'm going to get you for this, you piece of. Oh, freaking crap. This is not so good. It's Catherine. I think I am screwed. I need to think of something fast and quickly. Oh, um. Hey there Catherine. My sweet and lovely wife. How are you doing this fine afternoon? I wasn't expecting you so Sunday. Oh don't you think of going Mr. You Innocent Panties on me Davy boy. I know exactly of what you've been up to. Oh um. Well, what do you mean you knew what I was up to? I was only having some fun on my own with some music. Nothing too much, that's all. Oh yes you do know what I am talking about alright. Don't play these childish games with me like you always do. You better tell me the truth right now, or else you'll get it big time. You got that? But I am telling the truth babe. I can assure you I wasn't doing anything wrong. Oh my god! What the freaking hell? Just where in the actual hell did all of this stuff and things come from? I don't remember buying this sort of things before. And the kids couldn't have bite them either. So the only person and culprit who could have done it was. Um, is there something that mattered Catherine? Why are you looking at me in that way? Oh yes you better believe that there is a problem alright. Care to explain to me where in the world did all of this stuff come from, and how did it get here? And have you been also drinking? Because I can see some empty beer bottles on the floor. Oh yeah. About that as well. I can tell you about that. 
Hang on for just a minute. I have received a message from my bank about my card was used today. But I don't know what it was used on. Let's have a look see. What? The freaking hell. What the freaking heck is all of this? Who the hell spent £790 on my card at Target and the booth store? I don't remember spending that kind of money on all of that kind of stuff. But wait. The only person who could tampered with my card was... Well mister. Care to explain yourself? Do ya? Um, what do you mean, babe? I don't know what you are talking about. Alright. That's quite enough of that nonsense. Just cut to the chase and answer my goddamn bloody question right now, or else you're really gonna get it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Heather Catherine. Chill out. There's no need to be so aggressive about it. I will tell you the whole truth. Okay? Sheesh. Well then you better explain quickly. Or I am really gonna lose it. You got that? Okay. I will tell you now. Okay. Well. You remember when you said I couldn't have an early birthday and party earlier today, right? Why of course I do. But what about it? Well. Since you didn't let me have one, I decided that it would be an amazing idea to go out to the store and make myself my own party with all of this stuff. Which I actually used your card to buy all of this stuff. I am so sorry Catherine. I won't do something like this ever again. Please don't punish me or that. I just wanted an early birthday and party. That's all. You. Did. What? Are you alright? You don't seem to be looking so happy right now. It looks like you could use some cake. Care to take a slice of my cake, my darling, that I actually bought with your card too? Maybe it'll cheer you up. Oh, that was right. This is not so good. I am so done for now, I'll tell you. Well, I better brace myself, because she is about to go pretty bad. Well, here it comes in. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, 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 my freaking effin' God. Dave Bloody Johnson. I cannot believe my freaking ears of what you have just told me. How fucking freaking dare you have the crappy nerve and audacity to steal my card and spend £790 worth of all of this stuff on it. Just how dare you do that? Do you even freaking realize how much money you have just drawn out me and my bank? A whole freaking lot I can tell you that. I was saving that money for yard kit lunch and break money, and I was also going to buy some new things for and around the house to make it look more nicer. But, no! You just instead just wasted on a whole lot of rubbish we didn't even need because of your shifty shenanigans and stupidly entitled greedy ass and mind of yours all because for what? A freaking early birthday party. Are you goddamn freaking kidding me right now? I told you you couldn't have couldn't have a birthday party because it isn't your birthday yet. But you thought it would be a really awesome idea to just steal my card and spend a crap ton of money with it. Words cannot even explain how pissed off I am literally am with you right now. You have done it this time I tell you. You better tell me why I shouldn't punish and skin you for all of your goddamn money you free money loading thieving scumbag you are. You better tell me now or else you're gonna get it. But I don't know what to tell you babe. It was an accident. I didn't mean to spend a bad money on all of this stuff. I only did it all because you wouldn't let me have an early birthday party. So shouldn't have I done this when you don't let me get any of the things I wanted for once, huh? Oh, really? You did this by accident you say? Oh no you freaking didn't. You only did this because of your childish game antics. You deliberately did this all at purpose. You instead done this was a for a funny game and a joke. Didn't you? Well the game and joke sent right here. And well if you started acting like a fully grown man, then you wouldn't have to be treated this way would you? That's it for you mister. I have no choice but to ground you. And you're going to be grounded for two weeks. And you're not going to be watching Barney or any other kid shows you like to watch for two weeks too. What? No. 
No, no, you can't do this to me, Catherine. You just can't. I can't do two weeks without my precious baby shows. I am so deeply very sorry I did all of this. Please just don't drown me and ban me from watching my favorite kid shows of all time to watch. Please accept my apology. Well, for your quick information, I actually can do that. I am your wife, or should I say your mother? Because of the way you act like a child. Then why can't I treat you like one? Because if you're gonna act like one, then you're gonna get and be treated like one. Now enough of all of this nonsense. You're banned from watching them and being grounded and that's that, and there aren't nothing you can do about it. So just let it be. Now. With that said. You're gonna do me a massive huge favor for me. But first before you do start. I am going to send all of this stuff back where it came after you bought them with my card. Vion Logic. Activate. There. All done. That's all of it gone. Hope this teaches a very strong and valuable lesson to teach you not to mess with me and steal money off my cart to buy things that isn't even your money to be spending on it. Oh my goodness. Warrior. No. I can't believe it. It's all gone. All gone I tell you. I cannot believe you just did the weevil of scandal you are Catherine. I can't believe you would ruin my early birthday and party like this. Why? Why? Just why? Oh just shut up and be quiet Dave. I don't care if you're upset that I got rid of it all. You shouldn't have done this in the first place. This is what you get for it. And cry and moan about it all you want, because it isn't going to change anything. So let it go. Oh yeah. Money. And that reminds me. I will be taking £790 of money out of your bank to refill my bank account of the money you stole on spent with it earlier today. And now back to it. And this is gonna be your punishment. Your first punishment is that you will be cleaning up all of this mess and put everything, including the couch, back to the way it was. But wait. You're not going to send my birthday hat back to you, are you? Oh. That little piece of paper thing. Nah. You can keep that. It's not gonna be worth anything to send back anyways. But now like I said. I want this place completely spotless. Do it now. But Catherine. I don't want to clean up all of the mess. Can't you just do it for me instead? Oh hardy ha ha. Oh really? You think I would really do that? Not in a chance I won't. You know what they say Dave. You make the mess, then you clean up the mess. Remember? Now do it, and get to the table. You already know it's very dangerous. But Catherine, I don't want to clean up the... Do it right now. Okay, okay. I'll do what you say. Jesus Christ. Right. Now chop chop childish baby boy, there is some mess waiting for you that needs cleaning up. Now come on. I haven't got all day you know. Yes madam. I'll do what you say. Now that's more like it. Well, let's get this over and done with. I'm not going to like this though. Oh for crying out bloody loud Dave. Stop crying like a freaking motor car and get on with it. Or I am going to turn you into one. Righty. Now that's more better and like it. Thank you for doing this Dave. I really appreciate it. And there. That wasn't so hard now was it? Oh my goodness. That was pure torture I tell you. My arms feel so tired right now. Warrior. Oh just suck it up and quit throwing a fuss over it Dave. You wouldn't have had to do that if you didn't spend money with my cart to buy that food and that. That should teach you a lesson not to be doing such a vile act to get your own way. And now. For your second punishment. You're going to be sent to the naughty room for being such a horrible boy today for your disgusting actions you have done. What? No, 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 no. No, please, Catherine. I don't want to be sent to the naughty room. Please. I am begging you. Don't send me in there. Well, sorry. You have no choice. You're going to the naughty room, and that is final. Now, come on. Get up. Because I am taking you up there with me. No. Get away from me, you horrid witch. I am not going to listen to your orders. Hey! Get back here right now. Hey! 
Get off of me, Catherine, you crazy wicked witch. I'm not going to the naughty room and that's that. Now let me go. Why? Not a chance. You're going, and that is final. I don't want to hear any more complaining about it. Now come on. Enough is enough. We're going. Oh no 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 Oh be quiet Dave. I don't want to hear it. Alrighty. There we go. All done. That should be enough to hold and stop you from escaping from your punishment for what you did today. Oh my god. Catherine. How could you? How could you tie and tape your one and only husband up to Mr. Cheer for? Why? Well. I know this may seem a little cruel and a bit too much. But this is what you deserve for buying things you shouldn't have been buying on my card. But I don't want to be in here and in the chair all tied up. I want to go and watch Barney and friends, and instead of being here. So could you please kindly untie me, and let me go and watch my shows? Nah. I think some time in here for you will help you realize and learn your actions you have committed today is what you can really do. But pretty please with a cherry with cream on top. I don't think Mr. Chair fancies me sitting on him like this. I'm so sorry babe. Please just do it for me. No! I said to you like a million times Dave. I said to you you're not coming out of here until you learn your lesson. And that is that. And sorry doesn't change the fact or can be used as an excuse of why you stole all of that money out of me. This is your own fault, and now you're facing your consequences for it. And so what if Mr. Chair might not like you sitting on him all tied and taped up? You wouldn't be in this type of situation and mess if you didn't do this. Besides, you do realize I could call the cops on you and got you arrested for this? Because what you did was credit card theft fraud and a felony. And that is a serious crime you have just committed. But you're goddamn very lucky I didn't, because you would've been done for if I had. You're so damn lucky you didn't get your ass in jail for this. Because you would've been sentenced for a long time I can tell you that. And also you already got a card with money on it of your own to spend it with things on. So why did you use mine instead? Tell me that why don't you? Yes. I understand that I could have been arrested and sentenced to jail for a long time. And I'm sorry about that. But like I was going to say Catherine, I'm begging you so badly to let me out of here. I won't do something like this ever again. I promise. I'll be a very good boy from now on. And because I didn't want to use my card and to money come out of it because I want to save it. So I used yours instead. Okay? Oh. So that's why you decided to use mine instead of your one, because you didn't want money to come out of it and because you were saving it? Oh god of mighty. Ha ha. This is so hysterical. Not. And you know what? I have had just about enough of your nonsense behavior today. You have really done me and I tell you. That's it. I am leaving this room. Because I can't even look or stand you for any much longer. So see you later Dave. My good for nothing childish husband. But wait. When you leave out of here. Then how will I tell and let you know if I need you for something like if I need to use the loo or if I am hungry? Oh yeah. About that. Well, don't worry about that, because I have some walkie-talkies with me to sort out that problem. Here. And now. I will be going back downstairs to cook the kids and our dinners for tonight. And as for you. You can stay up here and think about your actions. And if you need me. Then you already know what to do. And your dinner will be up here in a couple of hours. What? God dang it. Why does this always happen to me? I can't help who I am. And everybody has to be so mean to me about it. But at least my mommy cares and treats me nicely, unlike everyone else. Ugh. I hate my life. It's so hard. Oh welly well well. Look what we have here. The childish I want everything my way has seemed to get himself all tied dished up because he wanted an early birthday and party but failed by getting caught by mama when she found out he spent a lot of her money on it with her credit card. Well, that will teach him not to do that next time and for trying to ruin my birthday two months ago as well. That's what he gets for being a big huge crybaby and an embarrassment to the family. Yeah, you got that right bro. It surely does. Hopefully he will think twice before doing something like that again. This is so good to watch him get his come-ups. Yeah. I completely agree with you on that too Emma my sis. This will teach him a thing or two. Well. I guess this episode ends here.
See you all soon. Hopefully I will be released out of this chair in the next episode on his creator's channel which Catherine put in. She is such an entitled carrot I tell you. And what do you all think I will do next? To be continued a childish dad why? Oh. Hey! Dave. Stop it. I heard that. Stop breaking the fourth wall. You're not allowed to do that. And you're not getting out any time soon. So be quiet and knock it off, now. You're driving me insane to the point I want to pull my hair out. And don't you freaking dare to call me an entitled Karen. I am not that at all. So stop saying I am one when I am actually not. So enough with it. I have heard enough. So don't make me have to come up there to put a gag on your mouth to shut you up. Alright Catherine. I will be quiet and stop breaking the fourth wall. I'm sorry. But anyways like I said. I hope I do get out of this chair soon. Because these roads are really tight and are starting to really hurt me. Somebody help me. <laughs>